Hi, I'm Mike Shin. I'm in charge of central support here at CIO Solutions in Santa Barbara, California. Today we're going to walk you through some of the features of Shortel, the phone, the call manager, and how to get to use it. So this is the Shortel phone itself. I'm using a Shortel 230 phone. Uh, your phone is probably similar. If you have a 210, dis uh, your display might be a little bit smaller. But all the Shortel phones are basically uh, basically the same. They operate the same way. The most important thing to note about the Shortel phone is that it should work like any other phone. To call, you just pick up the handset and make a phone call. And uh, uh, to dial, uh, you just dial the phone. To answer, you pick up the phone also. And it has a lot of other fancy features as well. We'll take a general tour of the phone here. Uh, here's the speakerphone button. You can see it lights up green. It may or may not actually give you a tone. That's depending on, on the, the system. Uh, above that, uh, you have the mute button, which turns red, which is real nice. And a little higher than that is the volume button. Now, the volume button, when you turn it up, if the handset's depressed, it will control the volume of your ring. If the handset is up, or you're on speaker, and you also turn up the volume, that will increase the volume of the call that you're on. It's important to know the difference there. To the right of the, of the volume are the four soft buttons. These are these buttons right here. Now, they're called soft buttons because they change function depending on what you're doing. So, if you're on a call and you press transfer, for, ex for example, the LCD screen above the buttons will sort of change. So I can change mode, I can do all sorts of stuff. But as you can see, the LCD screen sort of changes with, with the phone depending on the function that you're, you're in. To the upper right of the phone is the voice indicator light, voicemail indicator light. And that square will, will light up and blink red when you have a voicemail waiting to be heard. If you're new to the company and don't know what extension to find somebody at, that's no problem. Just press the directory button. And, of course, your direct directory will come up. You can sort of scroll down using the scroll over here above the volume button. And if you need to find somebody, you can just start typing in their, their name into the screen, sort of like you would on your cell phone. So I'm going to type in my last name here, Shin. That's a S H I. And it's already, already narrowed it down to, to my name. But let's say I'd only typed in S and H. It's going to find, in, find other people. So I could sort of scroll down, and you see the little caret it goes next to my name. And now I can click the dial on the soft button or do any number of other things. So now to transfer a call, you have to be in a call first, so we're going to make a, a, a quick phone call here to one, one of my agents. We're going to call uh, David, I believe. Let's try David. He's at 150, so call David. Hi, David. This is Mike. I'm going to transfer you over to, uh, to Jason, if that's okay. Great. Thank you very much. We're just testing out the phones here. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is going to hit the transfer button. And I don't know who I don't know Jason's extension. He's a new person here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the directory button, and I'm going to find Jason by typing in his name J. A. Oh, and there he is. He's the first person on my list. I'm going to choose Jason and select. And I'm going to do a consultative transfer. A consultative transfer is like a soft transfer. We're going to go into that in another section here. Hi, Jason. I'm going to transfer David over to you. Is that okay? David Beltran. We're testing out the phones. Okay, and you'll see I have the soft buttons here. I can say yes or I can cancel. I'm going to say yes. Thank you very much, guys. And just like that, I've transferred a call just like I'd be able to do on my computer. Communicator, also known as Call Manager if you've been using it for a while, is the software installed on your computer to make using your Shortel phone a little bit easier. There are a lot of options and numerous ways of using them, and we're just going to go through some of the basics here. 
Uh, first, after you get uh, your, your call manager installed, uh, you can get it situated on the screen as you prefer it. Uh, if you'll be using the phone throughout the day, many people prefer to dock their call manager. To do so, you go to the Shortel logo and go down to uh, View and Dock. You can do Dock Top, Dock Bottom, Dock Left. I prefer Dock Top. Uh, all the same, we're going to keep it in this normal mode here for the rest of training just because it makes it a little bit easier for me to show you how to do the different things. To make a call, you can type directly into an empty field or phone number uh, for the phone number, extension, or last name of the person you're trying to reach. So if I'm trying to reach... Uh, uh, Luke, for example, in, in our office, I can type in Luke, L-U-K, and it starts pulling up. And you can see here, here's Luke's extension, which is nice. And I can expand the arrow to get some more information on him. Or if I want, I could start, if I memorized his extension, I could just type in the extension, and it starts pulling it up. Now, that said, you, you may not know the extensions for everyone in your office, and you may not feel like memorizing all of those, so uh, that's that's what you got there. Uh, when you need to dial somebody on an outside line, somebody you've never called before, you can simply type in the phone number. Seven digits is fine if it's a local local call. Uh, if it's not a local call, you can put in the full uh, area code and then the seven digits, and that'll work just fine. Let's say you want to transfer a call that you're on to another person. So once you're on a call, you'll notice there's a yellow bar that appears. And you have a lot of options there with, the, with that yellow bar. Uh, it, there are a lot of ways of doing things in Shortel, just like any Microsoft product. I'm going to show you one of them, but you'll find others. If you right-click on the call that you're on, and you'll see it'll tell you how long you've been connected, you have all sorts of good options here. You can send them to voicemail, you can transfer, you can conference. If you want to transfer the person that you're talking to to somebody else, just right-click on there, and you can type in, just like before, you can type in the extension, first name or last name. So if I wanted to transfer them to Luke, I now have the option to do that. Okay, let's say I want to transfer this call over to Jason. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the call, and I'm going to type in Jason. Jason's one of my engineers here, so I'm going to highlight him. And I have the option of either transferring outright or doing a consultative transfer, or I can send them straight to his mailbox. But we're going to do the consultative transfer. It's also known as a soft transfer if you've ever used other phone systems. Conference calling is very similar to transferring. You have the same options with a consultative transfer. You just re remain on the line afterwards. So you can conference in up to six people per call, depending on the hardware that you've purchased. Uh, if during a conference call you decide that you need to drop a caller, you can just right-click that person and drop them from the conference. I'm going to show you now how to conference call. We're going to choose Jason again. And I can either consult or conference. Now, if I hit consult, it's going to ask me for that yes or no again. And while, while I'm consulting Jason, it's only going to be me and Jason on the line. It will not be uh, the, the third party that you're trying to conference in. And that allows you to talk with Jason and give them the, a moment to compose themselves and determine if they want to be on that conference or not. And uh, that will get you where you want to be. We're going to just conference outright today. So I'm going to hit conference. Central Support, this is Jason. Hi, Jason. It's Mike again, and now I'm showing the conference feature. Okay. And I appreciate you being on the line, but we're going we're gonna to kick you out for here. I appreciate your time. I'm just going to right-click on his name, and I can end there, or I can click this little red button. We're going to drop Jason from the call. And you can do that just, just as easy as that. You may notice that when you're calling different people, you'll see different colored circles next to their name. So, for example, for J with Jason, I'm seeing this green circle. That means he's on the line currently. If I wanted to call uh, Richard, for example, in our office, uh, no, Richard would be a bad example. Let's see, how about Craig? Craig, you'll see, has an orange circle next to his name. And what that means is that Craig is on the line currently. 
Uh, it's a great feature with Shortel. You may know that you have a voicemail because you have a red blinking light on your phone. You may also have received a notification in your email if that's set up. If it's time to listen to your voicemail, simply go to the Shortel logo and go to Windows Voicemail. You may need to expand your screen here, and you can see all the different calls that you have, and maybe you've saved or deleted some. Now, if you've deleted any of your messages, they will be uh, erased after midnight the, the, of the next night that you delete them. Um, another couple quick notes on voicemail. Uh, voicemail if left for you must be a minimum of two seconds long. If you have someone call and leave a voicemail that's too short, like, call me, it will not record them. If you've ever had a voicemail of somebody who didn't leave a message, but you, you listen to them hanging up their phone, uh, you know, under two seconds, you can see the benefit here. You, you won't get those with short tell. It's fantastic. To listen to your voicemail, all you need to do is highlight the call that came in and hit play. And that's going to play back for you. You can rewind or fast forward here and see how long the, the call is. If you'd like, you can always right-click and export to WAVE. And that's going to save that WAVE file. You can save that to your shared drive and keep that for perpetuity. Shortel offers about five different call handling modes. And when I, what I mean by call handling modes is the way that your phone receives and manages a call. So the standard call mode is that person that you're talking to. It rings three times. If you don't pick up the phone, it'll go to your voicemail greeting. And you can change your standard to be three or four rings if you need that to be. Uh, to do so, all you need to do is pull down the current call handling mode. To change your call handling mode, all you need to do is you can go to the Shortel logo and go to call handling. And you'll see that currently I'm in standard mode. Now, if you have yours docked at top, you'll probably already just see this little standard mode logo there and you can change that down to in a meeting, out of office, any of these. Uh, if I want to change to in a meeting mode, for example, if I know I'm going to be in a meeting for a while, I can change to there, and now my phone won't ring at all. If somebody calls in, they're going to go straight to my voicemail, which is convenient for me to not have to listen to my phone ring while I'm in a meeting. It's also nice for the person calling in not to have to listen to your phone ring four times before getting to the eventual voicemail that they would have gotten to anyway. What's also nice here is I can record a separate greeting for each of these. So for standard, I can say, hey, I'm, I'm in the, you know, apologize, uh, I'm not able to come to the phone right now. Whereas in a meeting, I can say, hi, you've reached Mike, I'm in a meeting, please leave a voicemail. So to do that, I'm going to go to the call handling uh, options, and you'll see I've got each of the different call handling mode options here. I can record a greeting for each of these and I can change my options for each of these as well, including setting it up to forward my, my voicemail to my phone. I can have it set to uh, forward straight on to my cell phone. I can have it forward, set up to forward straight on to any number of things. We've covered a lot here, and we've only gone over some of the basics. I want to show you one last feature that can be helpful. If you go to the short tell, and then Window, and then History. What you're going to see here is the History Viewer. Here you can see all the different calls you've made while your Shortel communicator has been opened. Say somebody called you at lunch but didn't leave a voicemail. It'll be in there. And if you're in a position where you're building by, by the hour, it's nice because you can see the call duration. You can see how long you spent on the phone with that person and bill accordingly. Uh, if you didn't document it properly at the time. And if you need to go back in time and say, okay, last week I called that one person, who, who were they? Um, and I remember I talked to them for about 10 minutes. You can start narrowing down your calls in, in that fashion. If you need to call somebody back that's on your screen, just double-click on them as you're there, and it'll start making that call. Shortel and the Shortel Communicator are great tools for getting your work done. I thank you for going through this and training with me. And feel free to send me an email with any comments or questions you might have.